we're getting right into Dopia. This season, they've got a little bit more funkier stuff going on, but we'll kick it off with their tried and true classics, the Adeo Terry Cloth Polo Shirt. Uh, we've had a bunch of different styles of their terry cloth polos in the past. This, I think, is their most relaxed, easiest to get into for most guys. Um, it's just a nice, classic, roomy shape. Bunless placket. Uh, it has the illusion of a bar tack, but it really is just a nice, plain placket. We have it in a variety of colors. Uh, this time, this kind of lilac, mauve color you'll see this spring a lot. These two blues, a light blue and a navy. Boop. And we have a very rich cream and this nice, soft uh, green almost like a very herby color. Um, so those, you know what those are. Take your true size, very great. Next up, we have another style we're revisiting. They're Anne Capri, which is kind of like this spread collar, one piece situation. You can kind of see it has a bit of like a, a swoop right there in the collar. Um, but the rest of it is gonna be like a classic slim uh, Italian shirt. The Dopia does very well. Uh, the fabric is definitely something to look at. I mean, that's probably the first thing you notice. It's this brush stroke kind of all over print, a bunch of different colors, but they all complement that base Bordeaux color very, very well. Uh, and as you can see, it's like almost tissue thin, very, very light. You're gonna be able to, to wear this super breathable all summer long, despite it being long sleeves, roll it up. It's a really great one. Uh, layer it under a suit jacket or just wear it on its own. Statement enough for sure. Going on with those more funkier retro vibe kind of things are the trousers I'm wearing myself, the Artemis trousers. It's one that uh, Dopia introduced last season. It's kind of their play on like a tailored fatigue. They kind of live in that, that realm between tailoring and more casual milsurp. Uh, so it has all those trademarks you'll see with these fatigue pockets, flat pockets on the back, and the button side tabs that we've got going on there. Uh, but also very Dopia with the hard center crease. And the two colors that we did in this poly uh, cotton twill, kind of have this really, really sweet vintage sheen to them. It kind of feels very, very groovy, very like having a good time. Um, it's something you can wear casually for sure. I think it works well when you're wearing like tonal colors like we're doing here. Uh, and it also works well just kind of with the complimented thing. We also have a more expected fabric and color that you'd see in this trouser, which is kind of that washed uh, green fatigue. But the fabric, instead of being a sateen, is kind of like this nice textured uh, cotton dobby canvas. Um, yeah, great trousers, easy to pair with most. And lastly, the, the bell of the ball, I'd say. Dopia does really, really great separate sport coats. Um, their fabric choice, I think, is above like everything else I've seen. Um, they kind of pick ones that work in this like very, very tailored shape, the three row two classic, really ideal tailoring, but it works well, really nice casually. You can see uh, the colors within this, I don't know if you saw in the close up, it has the rust, the copper, but it also has that complimenting like verdigris kind of a tone, gives you like a, a rusty penny kind of a vibe. But it works well with like linen trousers, jeans, everything. You'll see it on the mannequin later. It's nice. And then that is Dopia. That's it. Going on, we have more from 316. They have an extension of their beloved knitwear program. They're entering the knit tee, knit polo game with their cotton linen blend, wear super soft. And uh, our knit tees, we're really big fans of them. They kind of hold their own on their own and uh, layer nicely under other things. This one has a really standout, like chunky ribbed knit collar and a vintage throwback to that Dorito that you'll see on like vintage champion sweatshirts. Um, and it fits true to vintage style too. It has a nice like a uh, snug fit up here in the neck, keeps it tight, but then the rest of the body is very, very, uh, not very, very, just like slightly very loose, very breathable. And then the sleeves are shorter and kind of stick to the biceps, give you a nice little flattering shape for the summer. And you'll find that same shape here in the polo, except instead of that chunky ribbed neck, along with the Dorito, you have a triangle coming down, taking its place with this buttonless placket polo. Um, so yeah, similar shape, a bit looser. We have knit polos now, a variety of styles and shapes. This is gonna be on the looser end, as opposed to the slimmer ones that we have from other makers. And uh, we have it in that same mob color as well. And then we have 316's vacation shirt. Uh, this time showing off the expertise in the Indian textiles that they are picking up uh, since beginning that program over there. This is a 100% uh, cotton hand loom gauze. You can see it kind of has this like grid rip stoppy kind of a effect that's very irregular, very, very cool. A ton of texture in there when you get close up and it has the classic 316 cross cut on the back. The buttons are coconut, so it keeps it very beachy, very nice. Uh, that's kind of what you want with this shirt, especially from this fabric. Then we've got a twist on 316's denim pearl snap. It's not regular denim and it's not a pearl snap. They have the pearl shank buttons going up and down. You've seen it on their like Western over shirts, um, but this time bringing it to kind of just a regular on body shirt. The fabric is a Indian Cotty denim, which is a poly cotton blend 
and you get a bunch of really, really rich texture in here with this really soft cerulean blue. Um, yeah, just a really pretty fabric you'll see in person and I hope pictures do it well. You see the contrast stitching going on the cross cut and also those asymmetric pockets, 316 classic. Uh, like other 316 shirts like this, they're gonna fit a bit slim. Size up if you want something room here. And then another pair of jeans from 316. This is something we didn't expect to get. Um, kind of came as a surprise to us, but we're happy we have it. It is their CS Classic Straight Cut Washed Denim. We have this in the CT shape. Um, they're tapered fit, but we really, really took to the Classic Straight. It's what we're wearing most days. Um, and yeah, I wanted to give that to y'all. Uh, everything else, Classic 316, has selvage ID on the inside, as well as the coin pocket. Um, it's very similar to like what you'd get from a uh, Vintage 501. So skip the hassle with Vintage, just get these. They're gonna be nice year-round weight. And then I'll pass it off to uh, Greg with the rest of the Inglés Let's go. Thank you, Ludwin. Um, yep, that's our second drop from uh, Inglés uh, Our shirt making friends in Puglia, in the heel of the Italian boots. And they always make a lot of great stuff for us because we ask them to make something special all the time. And they're very happy to play the game and like make a special shirt, shirt jackets for us. So uh, for this particular drop, there's a few new styles and there's a few restocks of uh, best-selling styles from previous spring summer seasons. Uh, in terms of new style, the first one would be the Jubutino, which means basically blouson or jacket. Uh, in uh, Italian and this version we do Giubertino in the summer and in the fall winter. This version is this really natural colored like canvas linen. It's 100% linen. It's pretty hefty. It's really a light light jacketing fabric. It's nowhere near you know what you would normally see on a shirt and it's the Giubertino shape with the four pockets that is uh, a little bit reminiscent of kind of military shirts and the bigger like jacket buttons in mother of pearl everywhere as usual everything is beautifully finished uh, and it's a great piece to wear on top of a tee or uh, anything else on top of like a colorful shirt like here for example uh, there's lots of lots of ways to uh, style this and it's an easy one to just put in your bag when you're going on vacation somewhere sunny uh, and uh, you have a second layer uh, the other styles that are new uh, for this drop is this one I'm wearing right now, which is also right here. And it's one of our Miami color, which is this one piece, like sweeping our color with just one button packet. It's between a polo and a popover. Uh, this version here is 100% linen version. It's super breezy, super easy to wear. We love popovers in the summer. It's nice, it's casual, it's not quite a polo, but uh, it's, it's basically a polo in shutting material. So we got, couple of popovers for this drop that are uh, new styles. This one with the Miami swooping color and then this uh, cotton sweater with a really fine tan stripe in here, which that one is a more classic, like, you know, three button uh, polo uh, with a, also a one piece color, but not with that kind of like swooping opening. It's actually something that can be buttoned to the top. Uh, so those two popovers uh, and uh, the third, the fourth star that is new, the fourth star that, there's five stars, sorry, that are new for the season. The, the fourth one is this uh, PK uh, dark green, which is a really, really beautiful shade of green in a super, super tight and super, super soft PK. So it's really nothing at all like a golf shirt PK um, or something that is like very, very open weave and it looks very knitted. This looks very, um, uh, uh, it, it looks very, very smooth and very uh, luxe. Uh, and then finally, the last new style is something that Ken Sean is wearing. It's a little bit more like, you know, fun for like the summer. This is really this flocked pattern uh, on a model cotton uh, shirt in a camp uh, color shirt style. Uh, and finally, we've got some restocks of like bestsellers. The 100% linen butcher stripes in that ochre, mustard, the green, and the blue. That's always a winner. Uh, those are also one piece color, but buttoned. Uh, the popover in that Oxford with the horizontal yellow stripe. And uh, our popover in 100% linen in white. And we've also and got a new Labatt Guardian that's true. slipper in the Verde degree. A nice olive tone in the slipper, suede, the first one we did for that. And um, yeah, we're really excited about these and hope you all pick up on them. Very good soft loafer. See y'all.